Okay guys, I'm back and I just walked in the door not even five minutes ago and I wanted to go ahead and shoot this real quick as part of the end of what I showed you guys. Unfortunately, I apologize for not doing this part in screen flow, but I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here right now and just let you guys see exactly what I have here and we'll go ahead and move me and screen. We're good to go and just want to let you guys know that everything as you see on the screen right here copies... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long night. Copied files from the Macintosh HD to the Untitled, which is basically my new drive. Uh, 719,444 files evaluated. 683,000 files copied. Effective copy speed 10.82. Made you uh, Untitled bootable, as well as restored spotlight state on Untitled. So basically, I'll be able to switch that out, hopefully. Now, I'm a little concerned that 719,000 were evaluated and only 683,000 were copied. But as long as the OS works and all that seems to be working okay, I'm going to have that next to it in case, you know, maybe I'll open up side by side and just take a look and see if I can, you know, match up everything. I don't know what that means quite that it didn't match up. So we'll have to take a look at that. But what I'm going to do next, guys, is basically go ahead and show you guys how to take this apart and put your new drive in. Sorry, I was reading the information down below. Basically, it started over. You know, back up your files will then be used to copy the HD to the untitled. So we've already done that. It's taking you back to the beginning to do that, as you guys saw. So they do have some options on here that while you are erase up it then uh, during copy erase untitled and copy from the HD which is basically what it done on successful completion do nothing you can restart from untitled set untitled to startup disk shut down computer sleep computer quit super duper so you can set that up as far as that goes now I don't know if exactly if I need to do set untitled to startup disk I'm just gonna let that go and hopefully that will work so next time you see me we'll go ahead and we'll have my MacBook shut down Casing off, turned over, and we'll see if we can get this thing uh, up and running. Hopefully it will work. Cross the fingers. So guys, I'll be back and be a little bit of a different angle. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I'm back for the rest of my replacement of my hard drive. And what we're doing right now is we're actually going to flip my MacBook over, take out the existing hard drive, and replace it with this new guy. Now, I've took the freedom of taking out the screws out of the external hard drive already make that a little bit quicker and what we'll do is show you guys how to open up the MacBook now believe it or not all you need is a quarter and a mini screwdriver which was nice it came with this hard shell um, external shell that is so that'll actually be very helpful so let's go ahead and get right into this as you guys seen what I have gone through up until this point which has been extremely easy so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the quarter and we're going to turn that to the unlock position which will allow us to remove the battery the MacBook is off by the way I did clean it up as best as I could I had the spec see-through on there and let me tell you it was left a little bit of dirt in there I don't know if you guys can see that or not but Ooh, that was dirty. I need to take that off more often. But there was a lot of buildup in there, and I'm assuming that's from the fan blowing and the holes not being thoroughly, like, open to be able to let the air in. So, all right, what I'm going to do now is there are three screws, I believe, one, two, and three, and you're going to take those out, which is an L bracket here, which is going to allow you to have access to your hard drive, which is located over here. So I'm not going to bore you guys with the details. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And then I'll be back in a second and enjoy the music. Okay, guys, so we've got our bracket out, which was a little harder than I thought. If you could see there in the speed up, it was giving me a good, a good, good to go there. So now your hard drive is in here and there's actually a tab that you can pull if you just reach in there there it is and this is actually attached to a shell that you're going to screw onto your hard drive once you take this out but it's a simple pull 
all the way out and then you can release it. Now you see it is attached by four screws which are actually sprocket screws so you know what I don't know if the screwdriver is going to work in there or not it is not so what I'm going to need to do is grab a sprocket screwdriver which I do have in my in my toolbox so give me one second I will be right back I'm actually gonna put you guys on hold so I will be right back